Okay, in this quick video, we're going to cover the Picklock, the Zoo Picklock tool, and also some advanced setup features that we are using on our character rigs. To launch the Picklock, we're going to go up to the Zoo Character Rig Tools, Character Setup Tools, and launch the Author Picklocking feature. Now, to do the, the Picklock, it's fairly straightforward. You just need to select the object that you want to apply the Picklock options to and decide whether or not you want this um, the, the arrows up, down, left, right on the keypad to control the direction for selection. So we're going to pick the top arrow and it's loaded and now I'm going to select the bottom and tell it to be down. And because make reciprocal is on it's going to set this objects up back to this object. So we can make sure that it works, use our special pick lock hotkeys and you can see that it works. Now if I keep hitting down though nothing happens and so I'm going to turn off make reciprocal to make this this edit. So I'm going to load the bottom object and we know we can go up to the parent but down doesn't do anything so I'm going to actually set the bottom objects we've loaded it I'm going to tell it its top object to be down also. So now we can do a cycle pick lock it means I can keep hitting down and it will cycle all the way through my selection and if I hit up it stops because this is the top node, maybe it's a leg, and then maybe up for this object to be to the root. So that's one way you can make a cycling selection that is really fast for the animators to um, just you know jump back up to the top of the selection and, and re-pick walk from there. The other option is uh, one where you have maybe a top node. I'm going to load this top node. And we know that this bottom one's going to be down. And I'm going to set it reciprocal so that up is to the parent object down. And then from here, we want to be able, let's say this is the root, and then this is the hips, and we want to go left and right. Well, this object here, because our we're in character space, right, this is the left side of the character, and this is the right side of the character. So if you actually look at the direction of the pick walk, um, you know, you can, it, it's up to you to decide whether or not left on the keypad actually goes to the right object. I'm going to set it up so that left on the keypad selects the left object uh, because I'm already thinking in that screen space. So I'm going to load this bottom object and I'm going to tell the left button to go to left and I'm going to tell the right button to go to the right. So now if I pick this guy and I do left, it's going to select the left control. And if I do right, it's going to go to the right control. And you can see now that I'm cycling between these guys which is kind of nice that I can go left and right, but let's make it easy. If I pretend this is, uh, you know, this is the foot, and I want to be able to quickly, no matter, you know, where I am, grab the opposite foot control, I need to set that up so that that works. And by doing that, I'm going to load this object, and then go ahead and say that if I go right, I'm going to load this, this character's object. And so if I load this one, it's left, should now be. So now I can go back and forth, but I can't cycle. So if I select this guy and I hit load, I can select the opposite one and hit right. So basically each one of these nodes for left or right direction selects the opposite controller on the character's body. Hand controls, feet, ears, whatever you want. And then up obviously would go back up to the top node of the of the rig. So it, if this was the hips or you know if this was the master control of this situation, we would say that, you know, for each of these objects, this is uh, up, and I'll load this one, and say that this is up. Now, be careful doing this, because making reciprocal was turned on, so now you've you've clobbered whatever settings you you have here, so I'd actually undo back out a few steps, turn make reciprocal off, and then author the ups for this, so that I don't, I don't want to force this down to go to left or right. Uh, so just watch out for the Make Reciprocal button, but you can make some really powerful uh, cycling selections so that the animator can get to the other side of the character with one, one hotkey and also loop back to the top of the selection without having to go all the way back up through the pick walk. So I hope that gives you some good ideas on how we're using the character pick walk.